Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we're returning to Distro Wars, and we're going to have a look at two Plasma desktops. So, of course, I thought this would be a neat one here. KDE Neon, which is the testing ground for the KDE applications, against Solus Plasma, a ground-up Linux distribution that is now running Plasma for the very first time. So I think it'd be kind of interesting to see what's going on with these two distros. So I think what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and start Plasma, or uh, I'm going to start KDE Neon here, and then we'll talk a little bit about it. Now, as we are getting ready with KDE Neon, one of the first things to remember is according to their own site, they are not a distro. They are a staging ground. Now, can you use it as a distro? Absolutely you can. This is based on the current LTS of Ubuntu, so it's going to be based on 18.04. And the only thing that is different is they are using the absolute most current rolling versions of Plasma applications. And so that's kind of what we get is we get effectively a very minimal distro with just the basics, and then everything KDE. But it's not everything KDE. I find some things are missing that could be installed. And so uh, with that, I think what we're going to do is start by having a look at the KDE Neon. So over here on the desktop, let's uh, first thing before we do anything else, let's go ahead and pull up KSS Guard and have a look at our uh, information. We do nice have a nice notification. Discover is giving us a pop-up that we have um, security updates available. We also have a nice little system tray uh, task icon down there that also alerts us to that. So that's actually good to know. Let's go ahead and get rid of it though. I'm well aware of it. Thank you. So we are running on just on just over 400 megabytes of system RAM. Uh, let's see how I'm going to open up a few things. I'm going to see if it's uh, clunky or not. That's one thing some people say is Plasma can be a little clunky, and it seems to be running just fine. Uh, in general, with Plasma, I am not a fan of Dolphin. Um, it's one of the, the concerns, the issues that I have with it, but uh, we're not worried about that kind of stuff right now. All right, we opened up Discover. It is giving us that nice orange indicator there, indicating that we do have some updates. So it does give us multiple indicators that we do have updates to be had. All right. So here we have Discover as our software manager, which makes sense because that's the official Plasma software store, which is kind of a little bit buggy, kind of a little bit clunky. I have heard that it is getting a little bit better, uh, but I don't know for sure. Let's go ahead and type in evolution, see if what we get here. So here's evolution. That's what I was looking for is the evolution software uh, package there. There's a lot of other things in here that uh, are not quite evolution. At least this one says evolution in the description. Not sure if the other ones do or not. Let's see what Biogenesis does. Have the word, yes, this has the word evolution in it. So we're getting things that are not just the application name, but we're getting, you know, description stuff as well. All right. So there is what we have installed over there. As far as the applications you're going to get out of the box, uh, we do have our uh, we're not going to have a lot in here. So we have KDE Image Viewer. We have a basic document viewer. We have KDE Connect for Android. I have never worked with the SMS, KDE Connect SMS. I've never worked with that one before, but that's involved here. We have a web browser. Multimedia, we do have VLC. Nothing else in the Office Documents. And we didn't have a setting to do Office Documents either. We have our uh, just basic stuff. So overall, it's an extraordinarily minimal system. Not a lot here other than a few KDE applications. One of the things that I did note is that online accounts is not installed. So if you are looking for the online account functionality, you're going to have to install it. And let's have a look at our theming here. All right, so... Uh, here we just have Breeze and Breeze Dark. Uh, we should have just our basic Air, Breeze, Breeze Dark, Breeze Light, and Oxygen. Here's your basic application styles. Like this. So nothing else out of the ordinary inside of here. Let's go ahead and look at the system information. If I can remember... 
how can I get my system information? Oh, we may not actually have the system information tool installed. I thought it was just, oh, there it is. <laughs> So to tell you about the whole rest of the way. All right, so we have KDE version 5.17, KDE framework 5.66, QT version 5.13, kernel version 5.3. So that is what we are running on this system here. So somebody's going to want to remember that guy there. As far as other options, let's have a look at alternatives to various things that we have. So here we just have your basic dash application dashboard, application launcher, application menu. Um, where our widget panels are. Go ahead and have a look at our widgets. Really nothing else specially added to it. I'm not sure um, Solus gets us anything specially added either, but you can kind of see what our widgets are. Of course, we... We are running with the ability out of the box to run desktop uh, icons, but we do not have the desktop icons uh, for the home, for the computer, the trash can. All those things are not there. Of course, I just did a tutorial on how to get those guys back. So if you want to go ahead and just use the desktop mode here that does not actually allow you to use any desktop icons, you can do that. For those of you that do like using the desktop, you can go ahead and uh, set it over there. And set your location. This is the desktop folder, or you can go to other places as well. I would have liked that Plasma had desktop icons available to easily turn on, but they don't, and uh, that's going to be consistent across any version of Plasma. As far as installing any applications, you're going to be running anything through the Ubuntu repository unless it is a K application, then it's going to be coming through the, the rolling uh, KDE uh, repositories. And the only other thing that I'll mention here, because I think it's worth mentioning, is if you do anything in the terminal, if you are used to Debian or Ubuntu systems, you're going to be using apt as your package manager, and that's actually going to be you know, something that's going to be good for you. You don't have that option in Solace. You will need to learn a new package manager from the terminal if you are going to uh, want to use Solace instead. So let's go ahead and have a look at what Solace looks like. And here we are on Solace. Now you will notice I have desktop icons over here. I created those as part of my tutorial. So those are not something that is going to be in here out of uh, the box. Just keep an eye on that. All right, let's start up our k syscard. see what we have as far as our load. We're running just, just under uh, 400 megabytes. So this one's slightly lighter, slightly lighter, people. I do like the theming of Solace out of the box quite a bit better. Um, I think Pizza did a video commenting on the um, on the theming. I didn't get a chance to watch it yet, but uh, not sure... Uh, it sounded like there were some negative theming elements, but uh, that's okay. Uh, I haven't noticed anything, but over here, we're just going to have a look. The one thing that I'm seeing that we have installed here that we did not have on uh, Neon is we actually do have our LibreOffice. I installed Evolution, uh, so that's something that's not going to be installed out of the box. I installed it uh, just to uh, give some things a test. The other thing that we are going to find, uh, if we boot up our uh, basic settings, let me go back to favorites and boot up system settings, we do actually have online accounts installed on this, although there do seem to be some bugs in it. I could not delete accounts on there. I'm not sure if that's a bug. I got a comment, I believe, from one of the Solace devs that that may have been a bug, uh, but I'm not 100% sure about that. We do have a few extra theming packages, so if you just want to deal with whatever the theming is and just like this type of uh, theming system. We do have uh, the Solace application theming over here, which looks pretty good as well. And looking at the system information, like we did on the other one, we do have a newer kernel. We're on 5.4 kernel. Uh, we do have 5.17.5. We do have 5.6.6. So it looks like all of the other items are just as up to date. So we are probably going to get all the same K applications uh, with Solace, though we have a ground up platform instead of running on uh, on an Ubuntu base. I did see a comment here that KDE Neon might be on Debian now. I'm not completely sure if that's true. Uh, I'll just go ahead and throw that out there that uh, somebody did leave that in the comments in between the two screens. I've not seen that, but I also haven't looked for it later either. Other items out of the box. Um, 
it's going to be pretty much the same as we had. Now, we don't have the option to view our widgets using the uh, item up at the top, so you're either going to have to use the widget setting in the toolbar or right-click for the widgets. So you can go ahead and add your widgets over here. I didn't see any extra widgets installed on Solace as we saw on uh, Plasma, although I do like the theming of these ones a little bit better, I gotta say. But that's kind of a personal preference thing. I like the theming here involved. All of our alternatives for menus and things like that are much the same. We do have a show desktop. Um, I've changed it to minimize windows. It's actually like the more Mac version show desktop uh, by default. So we do have that on the panel. So I think that out of the box, if you're just looking for something new to start with, I think that Solace is going to get you a better system that's ready to go right out of the box. Now, if you are so familiar with Ubuntu or Debian and you're used to using apt, then you are, um, you're going to be more comfortable in neon because Solace uses its own package manager is it, is it EO package, I think. Uh, but it does use its own package manager. So you will need to learn a new package manager for doing that. And I can't even remember how to install something in it off the top. It's, it's been about a year since I've actually run Solace in production. Um, but, uh, that is something to keep in mind. Now, if you do not like Discover, but you want to use Plasma, this is another reason to go with Solace because Solace does have its own software manager that frankly is very good. Uh, it's very nice. Um, here's all of the system updates. So any system updates are going to be listed over here. I can't remember if it gives us a pop-up on system updates or not. Uh, but we do have the ability to install a lot of third-party tools, so these are not going to be as easy to install on the uh, on Neon. So if you're looking for things like Android Studio or Google Chrome or Spotify, Skype, things like that, you have an easier installer through the Solace uh, Installation Center here. So it is actually, uh, the software center over here is much better. So kind of out of the box, they're very equivalent to one another. Um, I don't see a massive reason to use one over the other. Of course, Solace is going to have fewer junk packages because everything in the repositories for Solace has been tested and will work well with the system. You're not going to have older applications, things that are not uh, up to date anymore. So overall though, I think that overall Solace might be even slightly better in a way, particularly since Solace was designed to be a distro for regular day-to-day -day use versus Neon is not specifically a distro as much as it is a testing ground. Now, if you are a software developer, and I do get a lot of these questions, you know, what's the best environment to test in? Well, depending on what you're testing or what you're developing, if you're developing K applications, Neon. Of course, do Neon, because that's what it's designed for. It's designed to be a testing environment to test applications with the K framework. So that could be a GNOME developer testing how things work with the K framework or just K framework stuff itself. So that's kind of my take. Let me know which one you think is the better distribution in the comments down below. I'm going to add one more note here. I keep forgetting about this, and if I had a notepad, I would have mentioned this. I like the installation process on Neon better because Solace... It does this thing where it likes, it likes to keep us secure, but in so doing, it does not let me use any old password that I want. I might want to have 123 as my super secret password. Solace, give me that option, please. All right, that's what I want to say. So thanks for watching. Let me know your comments down below.